He looking like a man. He he looking like a man. He looking like a man. Y'all even used to watch Mad TV and the little Chinese lady or whatever the fuck race she is, or you know, or whatever. I don't mean to offend nobody, but she used to be like, he looking like a man. He looking like a man. <laughs> he looking like a man. <laughs> Boy, it's a four ways of fries. Hit them likes and please hit them subscribes. Please hit the notifications so you'll be notified for these vibes and all that. Hey, man. What is the fuck is going on in these female prisons today? He looking like a man. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two inmates, two female inmates, two female prisoners found they so they ended up, they wound up pregnant. Fuck you wound up pregnant in jail. Like how the fuck you just wound up pregnant? Transgender inmate impregnates two prisoners. Transgender, man. See? 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 Hey bye. Look, no disrespect to the LGBTQ. Plus community. But this is the type of shit I'm talking about. You want to be a transgender male or female, this, that, and the third, and you want to be a girl and you want to be a boy. But then you like you then you, you didn't made yourself a girl and then or you acting like a girl cause because I think that motherfuckers ain't get the surgery yet, but you present yourself like a girl, and then they allowed you to go up in a female prisons. And you in there dicking bitches down. You supposed to be a girl. You supposed to be a girl. Let me read up on some shit. Let me read up on some shit, man. Two uh, uh two inmates, they got pregnant by a transgender inmate. You feel me? At a prison called Edna Mahan. Mahan? Yeah, that is a Mahan. <laughs> it's, all right. I... I <laughs> Two prisoners at the Etna Man Mahan, my bad, correctional facility are pregnant. Pregnant baby. They pregnant with the babies of a transgender inmate whom they had consensual sexual relations with. So you want to be a woman, but you get in jail, and these motherfucking women in jail, they want some dick. They ain't had dick and I don't know how long. And you walking up in here and you trying to be a woman, but you got dick between your legs. So I guess them bitches in there was like, nah homie, you gonna break us off some of that dick. Pause. <laughs> Why well, I had to say dick with so much emphasis. Fuck y'all though, but yeah. I ain't transgender like people who want to be women. They don't actually like women. They like to be a woman so they like Men, shouldn't you want to go to the boy prison? But you went up in there in the women prison. Oh, I'm a woman. But then you went here dicking bitches down. <sighs> this is in New Jersey, by the way. A policy allowing prisoners to be housed in line with their gender identity was enacted enacted last year as part of a settlement agreement for a suit filed by a woman who was forced to live in a men's prison for 18 months. See, but when you allow shit like this to happen, you open room for pregnancies. It's a dick swinging in here and you letting them walk around freely. You letting them roam, letting the pussy be his home. And next thing you know, a baby with a big ass dome is going to come sliding out of somebody's box while they sitting in the box. Edna Mahan reportedly houses 27 transgender inmates, NewJersey.com says. DOC officials declined to comment on disciplinary actions in housing decisions why the fuck y'all refusing to comment and y'all ain't gonna place no disciplinary actions and housing decisions on how motherfuckers should be housed and placed 
I think motherfuckers gonna think twice about this shit now because you can't be having these motherfucking inmates pregnant. These bitches calling home to their family like, yeah, I'm pregnant. How the fuck you get pregnant? You in jail? Yeah. Well, this boy bitch got me pregnant. Sorry for that. that was offensive, but look, I say offensive shit to every fucking body, and nobody's exempt. I'm tired of this shit. Shit just is what it is. It is what it is. Now my motherfuckers like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? You allow this shit to happen? Now deal with it. Deal with it. Now I want to know, is the transgender people being bullied by these prison women? Because they've been in there some time. And here come your motherfucking ass. You coming in here dressed like a woman. You a whole boy. Dick between your legs. Did they bully him? Did they jump this nigga for some dick? What the fuck happened? Is they safe in a woman's prison? Is this motherfucking transgender safe in a woman's prison? Because women, yeah, when they want what they want, they could be very aggressive. And they probably pushed up on that motherfucker. Nigga, get the fuck in the back. Get, get, get him in the back. Took him in the showers. And fuck the shit out, boy. Well, woman, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But he got a whole dick between his legs and... He and their fucking bitches, but I don't want to hurt his feelings because, you know, in today's society, you cannot say nothing bad or offensive about those people, but you can say offensive stuff offensive stuff about your own people and other people and other uh, touchy subjects, touchy subjects, but you can't say shit about the LGBTQs, elemental peace, you can't say nothing about them uh, because there's a, man, he and that dick and bitches down. Now, I don't think it's right these women in there bullying them, trying to get their turn with some dick because that's the only, that's, man, you, they got 27 dicks around that slinger. Who, how they know who baby it is? How they know which baby it is and who baby it is? 27 transgenders, and I'm pretty sure it's some fucking going down. Big fucking going down. The prison became the center of an investigation in the last year due to a series of sexual abuse charges amongst the guards. Hold up, so the, yeah, that ain't nothing new. Guards in there beating people up, fucking the shit out of people. That ain't doing drug deals, smuggling shit in for the inmates. That ain't nothing new. Fifteen prison officers were slapped with criminal charges last year for assaulting prisoners, prompting, prompted Governor Phil Murray to announce he'd be closing the facility. DOC Commissioner Marcus Hicks was subsequently forced to resign. Get him the fuck up out of here, y'all fucking inmates. Y'all beating them up and shit. Close the facility down. Too much shit happening in this motherfucking prison. Close it down. You got niggas in here fucking the goddamn inmates. Pretending to be like women. And y'all allowing it? Because everything is allowed in today's fucking society and everything shouldn't be allowed. There need to be rules, guidelines, and structure for shit. Or if not, you're going to have complete fucking chaos like what's going on now in the world. I'm out this motherfucker. Ball head tape. Four ways of fries. Hit them likes. Hit them subscribes. Hit them notifications so you'll be notified for these vibes. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Don't be no hoe. Yeah. No condoms media.